It's the biography of Christina Scarbeck, aka Christine Granville, who was Britain's first female special agent of the Second World War. Christine was part Polish aristocracy, but she was never really accepted in Polish high society because she was part Jewish as well. And in a way, I think that informed her character because she was um, ferociously independent, always slightly on the margins of society, fighting for her freedom, fighting for respect, um, and fighting for, for a kind of romantic, idealised Poland. One of the most fantastic things for me writing this book was doing the research, and some of it was talking to people that knew her. I spoke to wonderful Polish women that had known her in post-war London, gentlemen who had fought in the Second World War. Um, in, in this cafe I met people. This is um, Café de Quise where Christine often came in post-war London. It was known as a place where a lot of the former uh, Polish special services came, and military officers. She was given the George Medal, she was also given the OBE, and she was honoured by the French with a military honour, the Croix de Guerre, with one star. And she also had a number of uh, medals for the different theatres of the war that she worked in, and had a huge array of ribbons that any general would have been proud of. I think that her courage and her determination never faltered. The book is called The Spy Who Loved, because Christine was a very passionate woman. Um, she loved freedom and adventure, adrenaline and excitement, she loved men, she had two husbands and many lovers, um, and she loved life in its fullest sense. And above all, she loved freedom and independence. Freedom for her country and freedom for herself.